Have you ever been tempted to throw something away because it's broken? Well, don't. And here to tell us why is Amy Crevant with the Orange County Environmental Protection Division. Thanks for being with us, Amy. Thanks for having me. So, because we are in this, you know, sort of environment in this country where everything's like fast fashion, fast everything, there is a, an alternative to just throwing things away. What can we do? Yes, it's a disposable society, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So Orange County has a program called Fix It, Don't Pitch It. We have volunteers that come on a Saturday morning and they'll fix your items for free. What kind of items? All types of items. We'll fix, um, we'll sew a dog bed, we'll fix your watch, we'll fix uh, earrings, we'll fix your lantern, we'll fix lamps, a whole variety. Like We've had uh, shredders, actual sewing machines fixed, a huge variety, bikes, lots of bikes. And especially when they're kids' bikes and they get to ride them off like at the end of the event, that's very heartwarming. It's really nice to have, so, because we, we really do throw away a lot of things and people don't recognize that, you know, they'll throw it in the back of the closet and then from there it ends up getting pitched. So having this kind of, is it sort of a workshop that you can come to, it's an event? Tell us how does it work? The great thing about our volunteers is that they want to teach you how to fix it. They want to give you the tools and the knowledge to fix it yourself so that when you fix it yourself, it's like having a lifetime warranty. You can fix it again and again. And what we found with every event, everybody who shows up, it's positive at responses at the very end. We ask them to fill out a survey. Uh, everybody is has a positive response to this event and they're so thankful that it's free and we keep um, metrics on how much money we have saved Orange County residents and it's in the arena of twenty thousand dollars. How big, how small, what what kinds of things do you Good like the, the oddest things or the biggest things? Oddest, um, hmm, uh, something that you wouldn't consider to be um, a big fix was a flashlight, and it happened to be uh, the owner, Her, it belonged to her husband who used it all the time. And he passed away and we fixed it and it brought tears to her eyes. I know that's not odd, That's, but it, it's something so simple. But if you fix it, she it's like, you know, something of his that, that's now working again. Um, we also had a young, a young boy when his bike got fixed and he rode it around the park after the event, he was thrilled. And that, that means a lot to us. So are there size limits to what you can bring? Size limits, we don't want the volunteers to carry more than 20 pounds. Um, we have had very large speakers that have been brought in, but we'd like you to bring a dolly if you have something that large. We aren't allowed to have items that require oil or gas at the events. Um, that's not allowed at the community center. But we have had um, large pieces of machinery. We've had um, weed whackers. We've had uh, electric lawn mowers. We've had um, saws, all types of yard equipment. So what's the cadence? It, when you bring something in, is it fixed on the spot? Is it, uh, does it take a few days? How does that work? So you can show up and they'll go over the, what the problem is. They'll ask you questions like, what is it not doing? And then they'll talk it over. If they can't fix it on the spot, they can diagnose the problem. We do have a list that we provide to the participants. There are m like a dozen um, stores near the, co the community center. And you can go buy the um, item that you need and you can bring it back and they can fix it on the spot. We have had other events where we weren't, they weren't allowed or able to get the repair part that they need. So they've ordered it online and then one of our fixers actually met, it was a teacher, he actually met the teacher afterwards and and fixed her item even after the event was over. Nice. So what's the big picture, Amy? Are, are, what are we saving our community from by not having these things end up in landfills or wherever they go? We're trying to change the paradigm. Um, it is a disposable society and we need to turn that around. We do want to encourage people to fix it. There's an alternative. Um, even though that item might be cheap to replace, the idea is that we want to continue to keep it in its in its use, like in its useful life for as long as possible before we have to put it in the landfill. Well, this does help our community. This does help the environment. And this is something that people can take advantage of 
regularly. For free, yes. For, for and free. it's going to be during Earth Month. We have our next event Perfect. during Earth Month, and we will have all of the information on OCFL.net. Perfect. Amy, thank you very much thank for being with us. Thank you for having us. me.